ABC costing. The application of ABC costing techniques is simple, and this presentation will walk through an example. However, the most complex part of an ABC system is establishing the system. This is a simple ABC example of a cabinet maker. For this cabinet maker, we have four cost pools. Assembling units, the cost object there will be the products. Processing orders, the cost object there will be the products. Supporting customers, the cost object there will be the customers. And other, the cost object of which will be organizational sustaining types of activities. We have two different overhead pools that we're looking at. We're looking at manufacturing overhead and selling and administrative overhead. Remember, ABC is primarily um, related to the allocation of overhead into individual cost pools based upon percentages that have been gained from interviewing the individual people that are involved in each one of these um, individual departments. And so we're going to collect the costs here. We're going to take the percentages and multiply them by the individual costs. We'll look at the present activity level of the company. And from that, we will calculate some activity rates. So let's look at this example. Here are the costs associated with manufacturing overhead, the costs associated with selling and administrative overhead, and the total costs. Once we've applied these percentages, we will look at these ending totals here in order to make certain that all of these costs have been properly arithmetically allocated. And so we'll want to make certain that the total here is 500,000, 300,000 here, and then 800,000 here. Here we have the individual percentages associated with manufacturing overhead, and here are the ones for selling and administrative overhead. Even at this juncture of implementing an ABC system, it may cause management to go in and refine and rethink what it's doing in these individual departments once it's ascertained the amount of percentage time that everyone is spending on individually these activities. Uh, specifically, they may want to look at what are we doing for the organization as a whole is that properly aligned. Next we're going to look at the present activity rates. At present on a yearly basis they're on average are assembling a thousand units. They are processing 250 orders and they have approximately uh, 100 customers. So now we're going to take the uh, manufacturing overhead total and multiply it by the percentage of that manufacturing overhead that is used in assembling of units. And so the result of that is 250,000. Now for processing orders, 35% of the 500,000. Supporting customers and other. And we want to make certain that the 500,000 agrees to the 500,000 once we've added up all of the four cost pools. Doing the same for selling an administrative overhead. And it would make sense that a small percentage of this would be spent on assembling of units processing orders. It would seem that, that would sp they would spend more time processing orders, a lot of time on supporting customers, and other. For selling an administrative, this may be the C-suite salaries for like the CFO, the chief executive officer, the chief financial officer, etc. And so we want to make certain that the total agrees to the total. And then we want to add up the cost for the individual cost pools for assembling of units to 280,000, processing orders 310,000, supporting customers 100,000, and other or organizational sustaining activities is 110,000. Next, we're going to take the individual totals for the cost pools and divide them by the present activities. And so looking at this, we're saying that the overhead associated with um, assembling units, both manufacturing overhead as well as the selling and administrative overhead is $280. Now remember for GAP we would be just looking at manufacturing overhead, but ABC is used for internal decision making. So it's going to look at manufacturing as well as non-manufacturing overhead and seeing how well that aligns to the products. Processing orders, we're going to say that of the $310,000 it costs us to process orders when we have about 250, 250 orders per year, that it costs us $1,240 in order to process orders. 
and then supporting the customers we're spending about a hundred thousand dollars a year we have a hundred customers so we're spending approximately a thousand dollars to support customers now other has no activity rate because in, in total it will be looked at in total so a hundred and ten thousand dollars is the common costs of this entire organization is not attributable to any one customer or any one product so now let's look at a customer margin report. So this is customer A. They've placed one order for 27 cabinets. We want to look at the profitability of customers, and companies do this. They look at the individual property, proper profitability of each one of their customers. So their sales, they sell the cabinets for 100, and, I mean, $1,100. This is, represents 27 cabinets. This are the sales. Then direct materials. Now this isn't overhead. This is just regular direct materials, $180 per cabinet. And then on uh, direct labor, we have two hours that they spend on each cabinet. They pay their people $25 per hour. So it's $50 for each individual cabinet. And so multiplying that by the orders for the year uh, for this one order for this one customer, 27. And then we have the assembly cost. Now this was the overhead, manufacturing overhead and selling administrative overhead um, for individually for these um, cabinets. So that was $280, 27 were ordered. And then there was only one order. So the order cost associated with this customer would be um, $1,240 times one order. And then also we would include in this the customer support of $1,000 per customer. So this would be all of the costs associated with making this sale associated with customer A, one order for 27 cabinets. Now let's look at a second customer. This is customer B, their margin report. They've placed four order orders and in total they've bought 100 cabinets throughout the year. So the sales price per cabinet, same $1,100, 100 cabinets. Direct materials, 100 cabinets. Direct labor, 100 cabinets. Assembling, 280, 100 cabinets. Now, this is the per order cost. They uh, placed four individual orders. So now we have to multiply that times four. And then the customer support, it's still just one customer. So that's $1,000 associated with that one customer. So the, the customer margin, I'm sorry, this is written incorrectly. It should be customer margin for this is $53,040. So now let's look at a product margin report. Well, they're only selling one product, so this will include no customer support. So this is the product margin report, so the cost per unit and then their sales price. So $1,100, they're selling at present 1,000 units. The direct materials are 180 per unit, $50 for direct labor, assembling was 280 and then throughout the year they have 250 orders, so that's associated with the product, and so this is the 820,000. So that makes sense, so this is the 280,000 associated with assembly, and this is the 310,000 we saw earlier associated with placing processing orders. So the product margin in total is this. But most companies would be hesitant to just produce this report because it makes it seem as though every time we sell one um, or a, a, a product, we're making or the total um, 1,000 products, we're making $280. But we also have to take into consideration the customer support activities as well as the organizational sustaining activities. So I would produce a report that would be more like this. It would still have the product margin of $280, but as a reminder to management, whenever they look at this, I would also have included on here customer support, $1,000 per customer. We have 100 customers. This is the cost associated with customer support, and we saw that from the, this is the total from the cost pools, as well as the organizational costs or common costs of um, the entire company of 110,000 and so that would be 210,000 so the net profit for the entire company would be 70,000 and I would use this to keep everybody in a reminder that this 280,000 project product margin is being is being generated but it is used to support and pay for the cost of or contribute towards these other costs which are always going to be there too as well